Well, come along to the Eye Museum in Douglas and uh, talking about this uh, great idea now that you can be anywhere in the world and still have that bit of Manx you need to get be it through the old newspapers or just looking through the old records. And Edmund, this is, this is great because the Eye Museum's been up and running for some time, but people had to come in with their laptops or you could borrow them a laptop. Uh, but now the sky's the limit as far as people are concerned. Worldwide, yes. It's been a long project, uh, clearly several years in gestation. Um, and it's different components. As you say, the building we call the Eye Museum has been open now for uh, something like 18 months, running very smoothly. Um, it's nice and quiet at the moment, and that's because Edge Concern and their group have just gone home. And uh, I'm told this morning is very lively, lots of people learning about computing and how to do family history, things like that. So that was the first stage, getting the building up and running. But behind it, is a network of computer hardware, software, databases, and digital information that, that have been years in preparation. As you say, it includes newspapers, 400,000 pages of newsprint. Well, I've seen the room that, got, you know, the buried in the bunker, there a, was a guy sitting there just scanning stuff day and night, almost it seemed like, but is that completed or is that an ongoing task? The newspapers has been completed. We, we in fact, shipped two van loads <laughs> off island to, to a company. And then they sent the files to America where they were digitized, scanned and searched. And the, the end result is a database where we can search on every word in 200 years of newspapers. Now, I know newspapers have a copyright thing, so how far can you go up to with them? Well, what we've got in, in, in the Isle of Man is a, is a unique system whereby copyright is uh, only 50 years. So I, what we've done is put everything on till 1960. Um, which also is conveniently about a time when you're not really dealing with living people quite as much. And one of the issues about newspapers is some of this stuff is sensitive. It, it, you know, criminal issues, there's you know, people's you know, uh, you know, personal details reported in the newspapers. And sometimes there's a, an element about privacy. And we, f we felt also that 50 years back, it's less significant and less worrying. So all that's digitised, and you can go in there if you, if, you, if you want to now, put in some keywords and up something will pop. Yes, we designed a system so that it would work in the Eye Museum with the building, but also with staff to help you. Now, when you're on your own, that's slightly different. So what we've now got is a, a slightly adjusted software package, which allows the whole thing to go online worldwide but also we've put into place things like telephone support. So if you're in Australia and you're having problem logging on, there is a way of you getting help, um, either by email or ringing um, you know, a switchboard or a helpline. So it's those sort of things that we've added value um, so it's no longer just in the building. There's a lot more to it than that. Well, we mentioned newspapers, which is one thing, but you've got all your own stuff that's up there available, is it? Well, every month we're adding more. Um, at the moment, there's about 18,000 photographs um, in the system. Uh, there are uh, many hundreds of museum records, but there's also records about places on the island, such as the archaeological sites that we've got. We've got a TT Riders database. There's the information from the War Memorials Committee. So every name that's on a war memorial in the Isle of Man is available through the Eye Museum. I'm guessing there's going to be someone watching this today. He's probably thinking, oh, up in the attic, I've got loads of old pictures or I've got some old documentations. I was just going to chuck them away. Clearly, you'd like to see them, I guess, wouldn't you? I, th I think there's a, there's a gradual process of, of, of uh, meeting people's expectations. And the last thing I'm going to say for, for my staff's peace of mind, if anything else, is, oh, please bring every box of old photographs you can find. Um, it's, it's important you get a balance right. Uh, we've got the National Archive, and uh, that archive has been collected for 125 years since the trustees of the Manx Museum and, and Ancient Monuments body were set up. And we've got quite a lot of uh, backlog to get through. And, and that's why every month we're putting more on. This is, I think, uh, the moment we've spent five years on the project. We've got some funding from the government for another five years, keep it trickling through. And the, the money we get from the subscriptions is ploughed back in uh, so it gives us a, a way of making sure this is properly maintained for the future and that we can keep on putting more things. So, you know, the Knox archive is something we're looking at, putting not just the photographs of the work he produced, but his pencil drawings, sketches, something like um, uh, 
something like a thousand uh, drawings, watercolours, sketches that he assembled during his lifetime. Well, it is fascinating, and to, to people who, who can't come along here to the Isle of Man, because we get obviously a lot of people watching this all over the world, this is now the opportunity, if they haven't already, because it's only just recently gone live. It's been, been in beta for a while, but now it's live. We've been soft testing it. We wanted to make sure it worked. And people who, who've been involved with us over the, uh, the, the last sort of 18 months or so volunteered to act as guinea pigs. And um, we've had feedback, so we know the system works. Okay, well, all the details on the screen here, which is very simple because it's just uh, imuseum.im. imuseum.im, couldn't be simpler. And uh, I, I think, like everyone, once you start, you just keep going and finding things. And what a great way to find out about your history, of your families, uh, and, and your past, yes. isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely.